500. Okay, so we are actually heading up to the Boulder Supercharger. Two reasons. One, Tesla just released an update, got it on the Model 3, all kinds of cool stuff going on here. We have more Navigate on Autopilot stuff. We have some supercharger improvements, get to that in a minute. We have high speed performance, get to that soon. We have some software update stuff, some new games on Tesla Tari, on route battery warm up, get to that in just a second too. Additional language support, faster web browser now with Chromium, that's pretty awesome. Some TPMS updates and some auto steer stoplight warnings along with everything previously. But we are actually heading up to the supercharger for two reasons. One, I want to test out this in route battery warm up. So we have actually navigated to the Boulder supercharger. Navigate to Boulder supercharger. That way the car knows we are on our way there so it can modulate that battery temperature so it's optimal for charging, supercharging in particular. So that's actually really awesome. It says it will speed up supercharging times by roughly 20%. So I guess we'll see how that goes. But also supercharger improvements. Your car is now able to charge up to 150 kilowatt peak rates at a Tesla supercharger station which is amazing. Considering this is still not the V3 supercharging, this is still V2, but they were able to up it from 120 to 150. So this whole week I really have not charged the Model 3 at all. We are currently sitting at 25%. I'm gonna try to get it down to at least 20% by the time we get there. That way we can try to utilize those full 150 kilowatt peak rates. So I guess we'll see how that works out too. A little birdie told me that the Boulder supercharger has been upgraded. I guess there is some minor tweaking they have to do to the actual superchargers that are on site there and they have done that upgrade so we'll see if that actually holds true and hopefully we can get that 150 kilowatt peak rate so yeah i'm gonna drive through here it's a beautiful drive up to boulder if you've never been there definitely go you have kimball musk's restaurants up there you have all kinds of cool stuff too just this view is simply amazing so we're gonna head up there are pulling into the supercharger. Supercharger's right there. Oh, it does say 40 minute charging maximum. I guess we'll see if we uh, hit that. Yeah, hopefully we don't hit that 45 minute because we are at 18%. I was able to uh, get it down a little bit more by uh, having some fun with it. So we're actually backing up right now. And we are going to plug in, record the screen, and see how well, fast, we actually charge. So we are charging here, starting to charge. We've got the GoPro, so we are gonna switch to the time lapse. We're over 120. 500. So we didn't quite hit the 150, maybe because the battery was at only 18%, but we did hit this 500 limit already. So someone did just plug in next to me and they went onto a paired charger with me, so I think that might be why this dipped. Okay, so we just hit 90% uh, 
uh, and it took 46 minutes. Actually not too bad. I think originally it started off very high, then it kind of dropped down a bit because somebody plugged into a paired stall of mine. I think that's why. But then it kind of went back up a little bit. We actually hung out up there at the upper limits for quite a while. 46 minutes for 55 kilowatts is roughly 227 miles of range in that time. That's actually really not bad at all. And as soon as we can get some of those V3 superchargers around here, that'll just be way, way faster. Um, but I did overstay my welcome here. It does say 40 minutes on the supercharger sign out there, but I'm at 46. Eh, there's still open stalls, so I'm not worried about it. Now, if there weren't open stalls, yeah, I would get out of here pretty quick. Um, but glad that there was some open stalls so I could sit here and actually make this video for you guys But yeah real quick on road trips I always try to get to the next supercharger with a battery charge of like 10% or so One because the lower your battery is the faster you will charge because those last 10 to 20% actually can take quite a while. That's like the sweet spot for me. So that's what I do. Let me know down below what you guys do on your supercharger road trips. Always curious to see what people do. Let me know too if you want me to make a more in-depth video on that because that is something I can easily do. And there's actually a lot that goes into how I do my road trips, how I plan them out, just to make it as efficient and as least amount of time at a supercharger as possible. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, get home, because I have a lot of extra stuff to do, a lot of cool stuff coming up though, so definitely stay tuned. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for sponsoring the channel. If you guys are interested in accessories in your Model S, X or Model 3, such as this one, definitely check them out, all links down below, and using code Tesla Inventory, all one word, will get you 15% off your first order. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, we'll see you guys in the next one, bye.